Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be going over order and size of graphs. I've already done lessons on both of these topics individually, but I know some people prefer smaller things like this wrapped up into one lesson. So we're going to go over both of them very quickly in this lesson. So let's get right into it. So we know, as we've said many times before, that a graph we'll call G is an ordered pair with a vertex set V and an edge set we'll call E. Then we'll write about the order in red. The order of a graph is the cardinality of the vertex set. That's the number of vertices in the graph. Then we'll write about the size in blue, and you might be able to guess that the size of the graph is the cardinality of the edge set. That's the number of edges in the graph. Remember that vertices are sometimes referred to as nodes. That's another word for vertices. And nodes has one, two, three letters in common with order. So that might be a way that helps you remember that order goes with nodes. And then you can remember, of course, that size has to go along with edges. Just figured I'd mention that in case that helps. Now let's jump right into an example. I've continued to color code things to make sure it's perfectly clear. So what is the order of the graph G here? Well, remember the order of G is the number of vertices in G. And we've got the red vertices, they're labeled with black numbers. So let's count them up. We see there's one, two, three, four, five, six vertices to nobody's surprise. So the order of G is six. Now we can count up the edges to determine the size of G because the size of a graph is the number of edges. So we've got this edge from one to two. So that's one edge, two edges, three edges, four edges, five edges, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So the size of the graph G is nine because there are nine edges in the graph G. And it doesn't get much more complicated than that. If you're interested, I'll just, uh, draw a line here to divide it. If you're interested in weirder graphs, like for example, um, if we want to take a quick look at the empty graph, so let's say a graph with some vertex set and an empty edge set, then its order is of course the cardinality of the vertex set and its size would just be zero because it has an empty edge set. But it really doesn't get much more complicated than that. So just one more time before we go, here's the description of order and size one more time. The order of a graph is the number of vertices in the graph, and the size of a graph is the number of edges in the graph. So that's all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you understand what order and size of graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait for my world to turn.